previous video, we talked about a new class of medications known as genus kinase inhibitors that are typically given orally or in some countries topically to reduce the severity of atopic dermatitis. If you missed that video, watch that video first. Now, other than genus kinase inhibitors, there is also another interesting category of medications known as biologic injections. And the first FDA-approved drug for the management of moderate to severe eczema, dupilumab, is a biologic that can be used for the management of eczema. Dupilumab has generated a lot of interest across healthcare professionals as well as patients alike in view of its narrow spectrum, direction of activity, and its superior safety profile as well. If you'd like to hear more about Dupilumab, don't forget to continue watching this video. As we know, eczema is triggered by a whole host of inflammatory mediators including cytokines and interleukins which are produced by T-cells, which are part of your immune system. As we mentioned before, genus kinase inhibitors are small molecules that target or inhibit cytokines. Dupilumab, on the other hand, is a biologic injection that specifically targets the interleukins 4 and 13, which are involved in the eczema pathway. What's really beneficial about dupilumab compared to conventional systemic therapy like steroids, azathioprine, cyclosporine, and methotrexate is that it specifically inhibits the signaling pathway involved in eczema. As a result, it is a lot safer and doesn't target the whole immune system, allowing the patient to have limited side effects. Presently, dupilumab is administered as an injection as consuming them orally can disrupt their protein structure. Dupilumab is typically administered subcutaneously over various locations of the body such as the abdomen, the thigh, as well as the upper limbs. Other than the first injection, subsequent injections can be learned and can be delivered by yourself in the comfort of your own home, should you choose to do so. As mentioned, dupilumab is a very safe medication and has very limited narrow-spectrum side effects. Probably the most common would be injection site reaction, redness or pain, as well as conjunctivitis which can be associated with dupilumab therapy. At present, there is really still no cure for eczema. However, eczema can be well managed and can also have its symptoms much under control. If you feel that you might benefit from certain medications such as genus kinase inhibitors or dupilumab which I've just mentioned or talked about, talk to your practitioner or your specialist for further information and come to a shared decision on whether this might be suitable therapy for you. As mentioned, eczema can be well managed such that the quality of life, symptoms such as age, discomfort, weakness and scaling can be significantly reduced but nothing can completely eradicate eczema such that it will never come back again. So whether or not to embark on a treatment such as dupilumab and JAK inhibitors as well as for how long for should be a shared decision and an empowered decision made between you and your treating specialist. If you like our content and like to stay more up to date with various dermatological content and news, do stay subscribed to our YouTube channel.